don't tell the pioneers there was an easy way down. This guy tried to take his tractor across the Oregon Trail. He was so close, buddy. You were so close. I don't know if this is the right way. It's the year 1846. You and your party have decided to set forth across the Oregon Trail. You got two ways to get here. You can take the Columbia River, go down the rapids, you'll probably die. Or you can pay $5 to go down the new toll road, you'll probably die. This is what I call getting lost. This is the Barlow Road. Here we are on the Thai Valley side, the Barlow Trail. Somewhere around here, you come to the East, East Barlow Gate, which is now known as Gate Creek, because there was a gate there. And that was the first, that was like the second or third toll gate you'd pay for, I guess. And I guess if you were coming down the Oregon Trail, you probably would have left, was that Kansas City? You would have left there around uh, March usually, and you'd be getting here around September. You'd be making decent time. You still had a month left to get across the pass and into Oregon City before the uh, snow buried you in the ground like the Donner Pass. The Donner Party did. I came this way, didn't I? Oh, 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 oh. Get too deep for me. Drag him up at pegs. Hold up here. I don't know if this is the right way. For the record, no, that's not the road. It looks like an old wagon road. It just ends up in the bushes. Okay. like an old washboard or maybe just an old air conditioning unit, I don't know. Me and this bike aren't getting along right now.
this isn't great. I'm a little lost right now, so I'm just, although I'm not actually lost, I know exactly where I am, but I didn't find what I was looking for. Oh, sweet, look at this. Abandoned relics. This guy tried to take his tractor across the Oregon Trail. He was so close, buddy. You were so close. Open the gate! We've arrived at the White River Crossing. The bridge is no longer accepting visitors, but um, back in the old Oregon Trail, of course, when they were coming down the Barlow Road, they'd zigzag and forth across what's called the White River. That's why it's called the White River, because it's actually a bunch of brown, yucky-looking glacial silt. But the White River is what they call it. And they'd zigzag and forth across this river. And that over there is all currently a burn zone, so we can't go over there anyways. Um, but this bridge is scheduled to be rebuilt and this is as far as I can go. So this is why we can't do the entire Barlow Trail right now. You can only do about half of it and that just opened up about last weekend um, because there was more bridges that were out. Anyways, fun talk. Well, here it is. I found a camp spot right by the river. All I got to do is bring a tent next time and I can actually use it. So, oh well, see you later. As you can see, the White River, this is all the silt that comes off of it. And it pretty much feels like clay, it's so, so solid and tough. But anyways, yeah. Whoa, whoa. So yeah, the closer you get to the White River crossing, and all these different crossings, I should say, the more sand it is. This is all just, once again, floods from all these years of, you know, these thick potatoes. Sorry, whenever I see a handmade campsite, I gotta check it out. Those are the coolest. Oh my god. There. Slide inside of this one. Alright, what's up with this picnic table? Well, it appears to be a log. Saw it in half. Charming. Oh, and look at that. Concrete the river rock. That's actually the worst possible thing to use for a fireplace. It's around like that, but it kind of explodes when you, when you burn your concrete and river rock. Anyway, it's not, whatever. Oregon Trail, 3530. That's the Barlow Road. So this is near the site of Fort Deposit. That was an unknown, unknown location that was somewhere around here, but um, in 18, 1845, they, uh, the original crew didn't make it all the way over, so they left all their supplies here in the wilderness, sent half the families back to overwinter in the, the Dalles area, while the rest of them stood here and guarded all the supplies that were important. Um, Took at least a year to actually make the Barlow Road over Mount Hood, but this is kind of the story about that. So this one's got the Oregon Trail marking on the signpost. They got these three lines or four lines or whatever, five lines. The zig, I don't know what this is about. I mean, it's 35, not be 45. Somebody knows what that means. It means gate. Crossing, bridge, not sure. Oh, there's another one. See the mark marker on that one though. 
does this one say? This one has a faded, it says nothing basically. Clean up the campsite, guys. Check this out here. There's an old arbor glyph. I don't know what the name on it is, but it says August 16th, maybe, 189 something. Good stuff. We got five miles to go, Barlow Pass. Let's get moving. Giddy up, Porsche, giddy up, yeah. Better believe it. Where's all this water coming from? Oop, 
signpost. A big detonine. Let's find out here. First Oregon Trail immigrants chipped on some logs because they were reading the signpost instead. Um, lots of sort of fires are burning away down trees. So this, this is this time of how they cleared the, the road, I believe. Um, ladies and hunters, forest fires swept to the area. We might be getting close to the, um, there's a campground here that they have. That was where the settlers all supposedly overwintered that one time. Anyways, they cleared the roads by burning them. That's all I know. That's probably what that sounds a little too. I don't feel like reading. It's getting late and dark. But you know what? I'm going to go through the water again because that's fun. So I'm here at the side of Laurel Hill. This was the most treacherous part of the Barlow Road. Uh, some settlers would take over a day to, to drop their wagons on this hill. Um, you can see it over here, this is the actual hill they would come down. Uh, I believe it's a 60% gray, but it just goes straight up. And the process to get down would involve dropping trees, chaining the wagon off to it, and slowly letting the ox and drive the wagon downhill with the tree behind them. Um, there's a journal entry over here from 1853 by Elizabeth Goltra. Um, on September 24th, it was a rainy morning, the roads were bad, started early, I'm going to say got here by noon, uh, got down the hill by dark, it's the roughest, steepest hill on the road, got down all safe by cutting and chaining a tree behind the wagon, so it's just an example, that's how fun it was to come to Oregon in 1850. You can see over here, we got signs of the old wagon road going right through here, It's not much left of it, but uh, it's always kind of interesting to, uh, all the old footsteps, huh? Shh. Don't tell the pioneers there wasn't an easy way down. So there you have it. That's Laurel Hill. Now if you come through here, there's a highway. Rough times. Congratulations, you have survived the Oregon Trail. I'm gonna go this way. Way more fun. Onwards! Survive the Oregon Trail, you arrive at government camp, and look at this, you get your choice of tavern, restaurant, hotel, luxury, man. Life in the 1860s. 